Brad Richards, VP of Design, right? That's right. With performance now being such a, a, a huge, you know, it's a, such a desirable factor in our customers' minds, and, and you certainly know all about this. We took a lot of belly out of the, the fuel tank. Um, the current Rushmore fuel tank has a lot of belly, meaning it has a bit of a sag on the bottom, which we have such so much fun dialing it in like it was our bike in the garage and we're standing around, you That's know, exactly night, what it looks like. Dialing it in. All right, guys, so we're here with probably the genius behind all the <laughs> brand new designs of the new Harley Davidsons that we've seen for 2023 and obviously now for 2024. Brad Richards, VP of Design, right? That's right. Um, pleasure to be here, sir. Thank you for thanks, having Jim. us out here. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, basically, what I want to go over is maybe where we kind of got the whole idea of, of the ST model why is it this way where where are we going from here and right. you know as well as the regular cbo models right well the st family range really came from the, the, the inception was just seeing what was happening out in various you know parts of america and other places in the world where people were taking push rod air cool v twins and, and doing performance upgrades so um, obviously our lowrider s was the beginning of the, the kind of the st family and um, so s and sts kind of the same in, we, we consider those sort of our performance bikes in the portfolio. We really wanted to have a bike in the ST family that was at the top of the range that was sort of like the halo motorcycle for all of the ST and S models. And that's what the CBO Road Glide ST is. Okay. Now, there, there are some amazing components on this bike, obviously looking like a performance bagger, like the racetrack, the, the race bikes that we got that's coming right. out from King of the Baggers. Yeah. But what, what are some points that you kind of say, hey, we got this idea from when the bike's on the track and everything? Well, what's great about, you know, racing inspired products is that it's there, most of the changes, the aesthetic changes and the details are really functionally driven, right? Just someone trying to get as much performance out of the, the, the either the car or the motorcycle that you're talking about or whatever you're talking about. Uh, racing, airplanes, same thing, you know what I mean? So um, we we really tried to emulate and reproduce the vibe and feel of the King of the Baggers, you know, race bikes that um, the Wyman's race and now, and now Kyle and, and James are going to be racing or So um, what that meant is visually trying to get the bike um, aesthetically to feel a little bit lighter by like moving the bags up, for instance. You know, we, we cut four inches off the side panel. Which um, I love that. To get the bike just to feel a little bit lighter and then also to tie this. It's pretty major line because it ties into the side of the saddlebag and ties those two components together. We took a lot of belly out of the, the fuel tank. Um, the current Rushmore fuel tank has a lot of belly, meaning it has a bit of a sag on the bottom, which mm -hmm. is very traditional Harley Davidson. It looks beautiful. But in order to contemporize it, we, we tighten that up. We added these, we add attention to the fuel tank top with the chamfer and the saddlebag. You'll notice that if you look at these from top view, this sweep on the fuel tank is basically the same sweep that we yeah. have on the saddlebag. It's really nice. And what that did is it allowed us, when we, when we went from the stretch bag to this bag, we lost some volume in height, but we gained it in width by adding yeah. this. This, um, we actually gain more. There's more volume in this saddlebag than the outgoing saddlebag. I, I gotta tell you, I'm a huge fan of the the chop bags, the yeah. short bags. They they, yeah. they look great. I'm happy we're kind of going away from the the yeah. stretch bag look. Right. Because uh, even on my bike, my, my special came with stretch bags, and I, yeah. I altered out to go for short bags. But the design of these yeah. are amazing. Yeah. Um, me personally, I thought that this year, you know, even just for the regular models, yeah. that they weren't gonna get these bags. They weren't gonna get the the rear end. The shampoo. And, and it's everything is the same as kind of like a CBO now, which which is pretty cool in a way. Yeah, um, absolutely. But the, the bike looks great. I mean, a lot of the components I really love. I love the wave rotors in the front. Right. The carbon fiber parts are really, really cool, which I wasn't expecting at all. That, that was a huge surprise. Yeah, the forged carbon fiber is a really cool thing. It looks very contemporary versus traditional woven uh, carbon fiber. It's also a little bit stiffer. Um, it, and it is, it's functional. It's not painted. So this is the real, you're getting real forged carbon fiber on the fender, the console, the, the cowl, the seat the cowl, seat cowl yeah. and the titanium screen, Screaming Eagle exhaust tip are also it's, it's very carbon. tastefully done that's what it is because yeah. i've i've seen this print Thank on you. you know all over the place and it's yeah. it looks cool but the way it's done it's just very minimal and it's a pop here a pop there and it's, it's very well put together i was you know talking doing a video before back there with the with the team yeah and i was saying how 
this bike looks like it was just really thought out it wasn't like you guys just threw a bunch of parts at it and yeah. it was like hey let's go with this it was like it looks like it was really thought out and it looks yeah. great we try to do that i mean we try everybody because we don't you know we don't have a lot of resources to to, to to pour into just doing a bunch of different versions that don't make sense so there's a lot of sketches that the design team went into working with engineering working with you know everybody at the team right i, I always say that there's it's not one person who designs a motorcycle it's a it's the whole company that helps design this motorcycle and and we don't have time to, to waste or resources. It's very humble waste. of you, man. So, well, I mean, it's the truth. It's <laughs> yeah. the truth. You yeah, know? let's see. If you if you look at Harley Davidson, you do a cross section of the company. Whether you're, you know, whether you're sweeping the floor, you're designing the bikes. Most of the folks are riders and passionate about the brand, and right that's on. what makes it feel like a family. And that's why we love it so much. That's right on. And that's a, a really amazing point because a lot of yeah. people do say, hey. Some of the higher ups, they're they're just at a desk doing nothing. And it's like no, like yeah. the, these guys, these guys are writers, are collectors. They're really enthusiasts. They yeah. they're really passionate about what they do, and that's the reason why you yeah. know you guys yeah. been working with the company for so long, and you put so much into it. Well, we we, we certainly appreciate that people are noticing that, and I appreciate that. Yeah, too. for sure. Yeah, we we lo we love the company, and we all love riding and, and bringing a bike like you know this this bike to life at the you know at this time is just it feels really good 25th anniversary of CVO so that's a really cool moment to you know just add another element to the what it's up to this point in the CVO formula has primarily been you know kind of profiling right yeah yeah big wheels stretch bags big paint big audio we with with performance now being such a, a, a huge you know it's a, such a desirable factor in our customers minds and, and you certainly know all about this mm. um, it was time to merge performance with CBO and, and just start people are willing to pay as much for a, a you know an incredible paint job as a great front suspension or just fully re adjustable rear suspension so this this was the right moment and the right bike to, to do this on yeah right on all, all the all the parts that were picked out look great love the sea cow i know i've asked you about this like twice already but I, I think it's a really cool addition it just makes the bike look real special the yeah. suspension in the back the where where, where the mm -hmm. where the um reservoirs are, reservoirs are at yeah. the way they're located even the hoses like it looks cool yeah. um the crash bar looks really awesome yep. i like that a lot yep everything um and just lastly uh the wheels these are not prodigy wheels these are brand new wheels just for that season now right brand new wheel totally weight optimized for st we took you know we took additional weight out of this motorcycle um actually quite a bit from the standard uh road glide i think it's an additional well you'll have to check this it was a 24 28 I think it's, pounds i think it's almost 30 pounds yeah and, and then 60 pounds uh under from the, the outgoing model that's right right that's so right that's, that's a lot right. that's right yeah that's a lot so this wheel is fully optimized for this for the st so you can only find this wheel on the cvo road glide st right now and uh, i heard the guys saying the fun fact about the wheel is that it was powder coated first in red and yeah. then uh, it was etched out when they yep. powder coated it in black. Laser yeah. etched. To That's to awesome. To reveal the red. That's how we That's do that. That's really, really, really yeah. cool. And, and branding on the wheel has always been a thing that we've that we've done at CBO, at least since I've been on board at Harley. It's, it's just, we always like to have little Easter eggs around the bike. You know, that's why the, you know, on the, uh, like the push rod tubes, you know, the collars are red and the lower rocker blocks are, are performance yeah. red. And you see these details all around. The, the kind of the carbon look of the, of the, um, yeah. the textures and so on all this little stuff we have such so much fun dialing it in like it was our bike in the garage and we're standing around you know that's exactly night, what it looks like dialing it in, you know, that's we're, exactly what it looks like, what like to do. well brad thank you so much for your time yeah, you um you. super happy to be out here trying these new bikes yeah um guys if you haven't seen them in person go to your local dealership throw a leg over her just look at them the, the bike comes in this beautiful white color and you can see i don't know if it, the camera can catches it on, on on film but you do see that 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 gold hint in, the, in those flakes yeah really really nice and then the uh black raven what is it raven knight raven metallic raven metallic raven, raven yeah raven metallic is a metallic black and then this is, is um golden white pearl beautiful um that's uh that's your cbo st model for this year man get it while they're hot thank you so much man you bet thanks Gene. appreciate it yeah. that was awesome dude